Is walking your dog on leash a little bit of a struggle? Stay tuned to learn a simple game that teaches your dog the joy of walking together. Hey there, I'm Kelly, certified dog trainer and owner of Every Dog. Now, before I get into the training game, I want to start by emphasizing the importance of providing your dog with plenty of time to move at their own pace, sniff interesting things, and safely explore their environment. For your dog's physical and mental health, these needs should be prioritized and met alongside working on loose leash training. So be sure to balance exercises like the leash bubble game with plenty of time dedicated to just letting your dog do their thing. Okay, let's dive right into the demo so you can see the leash bubble game in action. Level one, you'll need some motivating treats. I recommend using small pieces of something smelly and easy to toss. Start in a familiar, low-distraction environment, like inside your home or in your backyard. Ideally, your dog should be wearing a harness with a leash attached. I recommend starting with a long leash if you have one. Show your dog a treat, then toss it onto the ground. While your dog finds and eats the treat, take some small steps away from them. The leash should remain loose. The moment your dog finishes eating the treat and then orients or moves in your direction, say yes and then toss out another treat. Yes. Repeat the pattern, moving around the area. If you want, you can start taking yes. bigger steps or moving faster. At first, it might take a few moments yes. for your dog to choose to orient towards you, but avoid calling them over if you can. Just quietly wait until they choose to look back towards you. If they're completely distracted or reacting strongly to their environment, you may need to try the game another time and in a less challenging environment. Okay, let's talk about why this simple game is so powerful. Number one, your dog is learning that being anywhere inside the bubble created by the leash is a good place to be. Now, this is so important because when you only focus on teaching your dog to heal, you're usually creating an all or nothing situation where they can walk next to you on cue or when you're holding treats, but then on the rest of the walk, they're back to dragging at the very end of their leash. Number two, by tossing the treat out and onto the ground, you are supercharging your reinforcement by providing a food reward and giving your dog a chance to do what they really want to do, which is sniff around and explore their environment. Number three, you're setting your dog up to practice the super important skills of disengaging from their environment and choosing to follow and stay close to you, which are not only the key components of loose leash walking, but really the foundation to everything else. Once your dog has mastered the game inside your home or in your backyard, it is time for level two. You'll be using the same supplies as in level one, but in an environment where you might normally take a walk. But it's still best to start with a place with minimal distractions, like a quiet path in the park, for example. Toss a treat out, and when your dog heads in your direction, say yes and repeat. When your dog is ready, you can develop the game further by shortening the leash to play inside of a smaller leash bubble and by playing in more distracting environments. Also, be sure to be on the lookout for any time your dog chooses to check in with you or walk in your direction on their own, even if you're not actively playing this game. Whenever this happens, show your dog you appreciate this behavior by saying yes and tossing out a treat. Okay, everybody, that's the leash bubble game. Keep practicing, keep reinforcing those behaviors that you like, and as always, keep having fun with your pup.